please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any video from my channel. This golden landscape reveals the golden cultural heritage of the Hemis Monastery. Built by Chapgon Gyalshas in 1630 under the reign of Senge Namgyal, this monastery flourished under the Namgyal dynasty because the royalty favoured the Drukpa sect that managed the monastery. Every summer, this door plays host to thousands of visitors from across the world who come to witness the festival and dances held in this courtyard to celebrate the birth anniversary of Guru Padma Sambhav. Hemis enjoyed the privileged patronage of many royal families. That is why its architecture speaks of a grandeur that only plenty could inspire. From the richly decorated facade of its exteriors, sporting a number of balconies, to the golden images of the Buddha in its inner sanctum, Hemis speaks of a rich and luxurious past, a past which continues to glow in its original glory even today. Among the prized paintings on display in this monastery is this mandala, containing a visual illustration of themes and figures from the teachings of the Buddha. As evident here, this is an incredibly condensed and complicated visual representation of themes, suggesting a host of ideas in one go. It is summer now and time for the customary dancers to celebrate Guru Padma Sambhav's birthday. The celebrations begin with the unfurling of a huge thangka of Chapgon Gyalshas, the founder of the Hemis Monastery. At this time every year, this central courtyard is transformed into a religious theatre in which is enacted the timeless victory of good over evil. The local population mixes with the tourists to cover every possible point that offers a glimpse of this glorious dance drama. Masked lamas wearing colorful brocade robes dance in slow gyrating motions on the beats of drums and cymbals to enact the tale which ends with the destruction of evil. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and also share with others.